Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the wind load on buildings. In this lecture, I will do the one example with calculation to find the wind load acting on the building. Let's consider this is a building and the wind load acts on this building in this direction. And we are going to find how much load of this building is acting on the building. How much load is acting on this building. We are interested to find this load, wind load acting on this building and, and this load is also sometimes called as the lateral load acting on the building, lateral load because it acts in the sideways direction on the building. So to start the calculation for the wind load on the building, the, as we know that the pressure is equal to the force per unit area and the force is equal to the pressure into area. This can be derived from the above formula. So we are, we are interested to find the force acting on this building and the unit of pounds or the unit of Newton. So to find the force acting on this building, we should know the pressure acts on this building and the area of this building. This is the projected area of this building on which it will act, projected area of this building. And so in this case, for example, this is the building, consider this is the building. And I suppose the projected area of this building is this, the load acting on this building area. Only I'm going to uh, solve the problem for this load acting in this direction, not for this. You can also solve for this if you know how to solve for this portion of the building. This is the building and we are interested to find the uh, load on this building. So the projected area will be this. This is the length of the building, this is the height of the building. Let's suppose that the length of the building is 7 foot and the height of the building is 10 foot and the load acts in this direction on the building. So this is a projected area and the pressure. So the projected area of this building here in our example is 10 cross 7. So it comes out to be 70 foot square in the unit of foot square. This is the projected area of this for this kind of load. Now the pressure. Pressure is unknown to us. To find the pressure of the wind, there is equation for the calculating the pressure we have. And this equation is the CE into CD into QS into IW. I will explain one by one. So the first one is CE. The CE is known as the exposure factor. It means how much your building is exposed to the wind. Exposure factor are the combined height factor, combined height factor are sometimes also called as gust factor, gust factor. And this factor vary according to the exposure of the building. It changes, it vary from the uh, value of 0 0.60 to 1.20 depending on the exposure of the building, how much our building is exposed to the wind. This is also according to the different codes, they provide the different variation of the exposure factor. Some codes specify the different variation and some codes specify the different according to the formula. So now the, this is the exposure factor, now the CD factor. The CD factor is The CD factor is the drag factor, drag factor for the building and it depends on the shape of the building. It depends on the shape of the building and this value is in the range of this, this is also constant and CD, C is a constant and CD is also constant and CD usually ranges from 0 0.09 to 1.15. And this range, this is the range of the uh, drag factor for the wind load calculation and they depends on the shape of the building. In our case, is our building is like a cube building. So in our case, the shape factor, the drag factor is, is we will take the drag factor is 0 0.84. Sorry, in this example, we will take the drag factor 
is 1.05 because the in cube for the cube we have the drake or the drake factor constant of 1.05 so in this example i will take the ce the exposure of the building constant is 0.84 is according from the table i will take this it depends that how much your building is exposed uh, to the wind i take a c 0.84 and the uh, drake factor is the 1.05 after calculating the these two factor c a and c d now i will show you the q s factor and the i w factor so let's to show these two factors i will the q is first of all the i w the i w is importance factor importance factor means that how much your structure is important it ranges from 1 to 1.7 or maybe 2 it depends on how much importance of your building is for example if your structure is made of hazardous material and some uh, some heavy machinery equipment is there in your building so you should take the importance factor more in this case while for the residential building we usually take the importance factor is one so in our case here we are going to finally calculate the load on this building we will take the uh, importance factor is one now the QS factor the QS is the wind stagnation pressure is the wind stagnation pressure and the American society gave us the formula for the wind stagnation pressure is 0 0.00256 v into square and it gives us the unit in pound per square foot they also the, give us the equation for 0 0.613 v square in the unit of newton per meter square you can use either of these equation to find the wind stagnation pressure and then putting this value into this equation but here in this case is we are dealing with the foot pound per square foot so we are going to use this equation for our calculation so these were all factors explained, CE is exposure factor, drag factor, the uh, so wine stagnation factor and the importance factor. So here I will now put all this value to find the pressure. So to put this value, to put all this value, P is equal to the, P is equal to the, the C value is 0.84. The CD value is here, I, I am going to suppose 1.05. 0 0.05 and the q is i will find from this equation the q is i will find from this equation and the q is 0 0.00256 into v square while this v is always in miles per hour miles per hour so in this case usually the wind velocity is taken as 70 miles per hour so i will also assume to take the qs the velocity is the 70 miles per hour so after putting this value qs into this equation 0 0.00256 256 into 70 square i get the values of the wind stagnation pressure is 12.5 psf because it's the unit of PSF, pound per square foot. So putting this value of QS, I get the 12.5 into IW. And IW, I suppose it is one. It is one. So this calculation gives us the value of 11.025 PSF, pound per square foot. It means that the 11.025 square foot load is acting on this building is the pressure it means if i draw this building again so it means so it means the pressure acting on this building is a pressure is 11.025 psf pound per square foot is acting on this building now we are interested to find the total force acting on this building so to find the force it is equal to the p into area 
is we derive from uh, from the above. So the force is equal to the P is equal to this value and area we have found that the area of this object is found to be 70 foot square as we found at the start of the video. So the pressure is 11.025 into area of 70 square is area of this building so it comes out to be 7 1.75 p pounds pounds why because we multiply it with the area so the area unit has been cancelled out so we only remain with the pounds so it means that this almost 772 pounds load force is acting on this building is the wine load acting on this so we are going to design this building for this type of load for this type of load 772 pounds and our building should resist this load is the lateral load otherwise your building will not resist the wind load lateral load and it will fall down uh, and it will be um, just collapse the building so this was all about the wind load on the building and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos and thank you for watching our video